so in this configuration we are having a splitter from dac b, b which is going into adc d and adc c and from dac a to adc b so you can see these plots in this adc captures before mts adc c and adc d are aligned because they are from same tile and its amplitude is still 4000 because adc c and adc d are coming from the splitter and adc b is directly uh, coming from dac a that's why its amplitude is going till 8000 and here is the capture after mts so c and d were uh, previously aligned before mts and after mts it is aligned with adc b and then we have also verified it with this function of cross correlation as discussed in the notebook then in this configuration we are keeping the one end of splitter empty and only using two ADCs that are ADC B and ADC D so here are the plot for this configuration so you can see that before MTS ADC B and ADC D are misaligned and now you can see that the ADC D which is coming from the splitter is going till 6000 and adc b which is directly coming from dac it is going till 8000 then after mts they are getting aligned and again we have verified that mts is successful now in this case we are again having a splitter and from this splitter it is going into this adc d and dac a is directly going into this adc b now another end of the splitter is not kept empty it is just connected to a wire which is kept empty so this is the plot of this configuration in this we are able to see that before mts adc b and adc d are not aligned and this is the plot after mts but in this mts is not successful this can be said because of this verification method here you can see that it is showing failed at zero mts alignment is not stable and it happened because we have kept one end of the uh, wire in the splitter which was empty and it was not connected to any ADC so due to the reflections MTS got failed here and in this also you can see that the amplitude for ADC D is going till 4000 because both the ends of the splitter are used though one end of the splitter is just connected to the wire so we have covered three cases when both the ends of the splitter are used the amplitude for that ADC goes till 4000 if only one end of the splitter is used then the amplitude of that ADC goes till 6000 and when the loopback is directly connected from DAC no splitter is used then the amplitude goes till 8000 now in this configuration we are having a small wire and a long wire connecting DAC A to ADC B via small wire and DAC B to ADC D via the long wire and, and these are the plots for this configuration as you can see this before MTS the plots are not aligned but after MTS also the plots are not aligned because our MTS will only look after the digital delay not the analog delay caused because of the difference in the length of the wires as we have used a small wire and a long wire so MTS is only looking after the digital delay and this is the verification part for this configuration and as we can see it got failed because MTS will not compensate for the analog delay caused by the different length of the wires now we are performing this another configuration in which we are having only a one loopback from DAC B to ADC D and as we can see plot for this configuration we have only one signal so we don't require any MTS here this is the verification part for this configuration and MTS will fail in this case because we have only having one signal so MTS will not align a sine wave signal with a noise. Then we are having this configuration of no loopback in which we are doing uh, no, no connection between any TAC to ADC. These are the plot for this so these are the noise and MTS will not able to align these noise. This is the verification part so as we can see MTS was not able to align those noise. This is our another configuration in which we are again taking wires of different length but both the wires are going to ADCs which are present on same tile that is ADC C and ADC D. So our configuration is DAC B is connected to ADC D and DAC A is connected to ADC C. So these are the plots of this configuration before MTS and after MTS though the ADCs were present on same tiles but MTS will require for uh, two different DAC tiles 
as you can see in the plot that after MTS also the plot is not aligned this is because of the analog delay caused by the different length of the wires MTS will only take care after the digital delay not after the analog delay now in this configuration we are taking a more longer wire and the configuration is DAC B to ADC D and DAC A to ADC B so DACs are also on different tile and ADCs are also on different tile so this is the plot of this configuration so as you can see again the plot are not aligned after MTS this is again because of uh, MTS will look after only digital delay not the analog delay which is caused by the different length of the wires this is the another configuration that is from DAC B to ADC C and ADC D using splitter so ADC C and ADC D are present on same tile and we are using only one DAC that is DAC B so this is the plot so as you can see before MTS also the plots are aligned and after MC MTS also the plots are aligned this is because we were using ADC ADCs which were present on same tile and also we were using only one DAC that's why before and after plots are same as well as aligned now in this configuration we are doing the same case as before the only thing is we are taking wires of different length so the configuration is from DAC A to ADC C and ADC D through splitter so ADC C and ADC D are present on same tile and we are using one DAC that is DAC A so as you can see in this also before and after plots are same this is because we are using ADCs which are present on same tile and only one DAC but these plots are not aligned because of the analog delay caused by the different length of wires now we are having this configuration it is from DAC A to ADC B and DAC B to ADC C it is completely similar to what we ran in the notebook both the DAC tiles are different and both the ADC tiles are different so this is the plot here you can see before MTS the plots are not aligned but after MTS they got aligned and in the verification part also you can see that we got MTS successful now in this configuration we are having the connection from DAC A to ADC C and DAC B to ADC D it is similar to that of when we took different wires but now we have taken wires of same length so we are having DACs on of different tile and ADCs on same tile so these are the plot for this configuration before MTS the plots were not aligned but after MTS also they are somewhat aligned not completely aligned and you can see in the verification part that it MTS got failed now in this configuration we are having a connection from DAC A to ADC B and ADC C through splitter and ADC B and ADC C are on different tiles in this configuration also our MTS was not able to align properly as you can see in the verification part that MTS was not successful now in this configuration we are having a connection from DAC A to ADC B and ADC C through splitter and DAC B to ADC D previously when we were using three ADCs in that configuration two ADCs which were coming from splitter were present on same tile but in this case they are on different tile that is ADC B and ADC C and uh, we are having another ADC which is ADC D connected to DAC B these are the plots for this configuration so as you can see after MTS also all the three ADCs are not aligned and in the verification part also we can see that our MTS got failed this verification for is for ADC D and ADC B and this verification is for ADC C and ADC B in this also our MTS got failed so these are the MTS results for all the configuration and the reason whether it got successful or unsuccessful and we have came to conclusion that when we are having different DAC tiles and different ADC tiles our MTS will get successful and when we are having same DAC tile that is through wires are connected through splitter at same ADC tile MTS gets successful rather we can say MTS is not required in this case and when we are having different DAC tiles and same ADC tile MTS got unsuccessful and when we are having same DAC tile and different ADC tiles MTS got unsuccessful the conclusion for this last two points are based on the observations in the last three configuration that we saw MTS got unsuccessful